What's up Team KBA, One Tech Traveler here. It's been a while since I've done a bag review, but I'm back with another one and it's a very exciting day pack. It's from the brand Able Carry, and we are going to be checking out and I will be sharing my thoughts in this review of the Able Carry 13 day pack. I've got it in the Multicam Alpine white colorway. It looks absolutely awesome and it's a refreshing change from the other colors and also matches some of the white camo clothes that I also have. And uh, oh, let's also not forget the accessory too. Now it's complete. Like always, you can find a full written review of the Able Carry 13 on my website. So check it out at onetechtraveler.com. And like always, join the Team KBA community to see more awesome videos like this one across tech, travel, and even gaming. Let's get down to it. Alright, so we've got the Able 13 Day Pack right here, a 13 litre backpack that really serves well as an everyday minimal backpack or just a lighter carry if you are going on your hiking trails, adventures, anything like that. Uh, I've been using it across a multitude of different scenarios, just mainly taking it to cafes and having a small setup with my gear and also venturing far out around South Korea, going through hiking trails and switching the kind of loadouts inside. And honestly, it's been a really fun and exciting day pack to have as part of my wider everyday carry range. We're going to dive into a couple of features of what makes the Able Carry 13 day pack great in my experience. Um, but I kind of want to give you an overview of what you can expect with this. So it comes in a variety of colors, your kind of typical so there's quite a few things that I like about the Able 13 day pack that I think makes it an exciting everyday carry and some of the features that you can think about if it's the right bag for you. One of which is actually the option for two different materials that Able Carry actually offers this in. We have the X-Pack material and then you also have a Kajura material version and they offer slightly different experiences. Now you don't have to look too close to see that this is made out of the X-Pack material mainly because you'll actually get these sort of like crisscross uh, underneath the exterior layer and that kind of forms the aesthetic versus the Kajura version which is more heavy duty and rugged and thicker and I think it actually makes it look quite nice and very interesting. The Alpine looks really awesome in both the winter and in the summer and means you can sort of mix and match your like outfits as well. The bag itself is very light, has a nice aesthetic to kind of like a familiar and classic design with some unique details like we have this side opening here that sort of uh, slides across the face of it and when you have a feel of the bag it definitely feels more durable and better quality than alternatives out there. Now one thing I do want to say is that on Able Carry's website, the 13 day pack was primarily shown with females wearing it. And I was a bit conflicted because I thought it looked really cool. And I think as a minimal day pack, it would also work. It was just untested for males. But I decided to take a leap of faith and uh, decide to go for the 13. And I can say that as a minimal day pack, this bag is great for guys as well. Taking a look around this 13 liter backpack, is very compact as I mentioned earlier and you can see it's uh, also pretty good at flat packing inside your luggage or just taking it as an additional but if you decide to take it as an everyday it keeps that nice slim profile on your back. In terms of the front you'll find two compartments the main compartment is actually this like zippered part that sort of angles and crosses the face of the bag that I mentioned earlier and they have these nice loop zippers and allow your fingers to just easily glide it down which is nice and this front compartment space I kind of see it more as a quick access so anything that you do want readily available or just separated from the main compartment it does a very good job of that and in terms of usable space it pretty much offers you a lot of flexibility. This part does use some of the main compartments, but they've also built into the design to allow it to expand your quick access, a catch-all, or just more important things that you want to separate from everything else. Uh, I've put in my camera, my earphones, 
lenses and it does a great job with that even food separate from your tech essentials and then on the left side we have like a vertical pocket here and that actually allows you to slide in a water bottle it's definitely good towards slimmer bottles which makes sense for this kind of minimal day pack and small like footprint we actually have like this additional loop you might be able to see it like so and uh, that can act as like a little key tether or just anything like a carabiner that you want to loop on that while keeping it like hidden so pretty cool <laughs> let's get a closer look at the material from the accessory pack itself. This is the X-Pack pouch and comes in the same multicam Alpine white, looks really nice. And you can see inside here, it's kind of a universal catch-all, so nothing too much with it. Uh, but in terms of construction, there's definitely a lot going on. We have the X-Pack lining that adds the extra like durability and strength while allowing it to stay lightweight. And then the exterior is also made of the same material and it's also DWR treated. So so it has the same water repellent exterior as the 13 backpack here. Very simple zipper construction and a little uh, loop at the end. When it comes to tech, I like to put all of my wireless earbuds, my mouse, my portable LED light, even one of my portable stands for my phone if I'm out of the cafe and then just a few bits of like cables and such uh, depending what I'm planning to do. Again, very strong, lightweight, has a nice slim profile with a wider base so it's able to sit on its own like that. And yeah, feels really good and gives you better understanding. So now that that's out of the way, let's look at the 13 day pack. So a closer look at some of the features uh, with the bottle compartment I showed you earlier. It has a little drainage system, just this uh, little loop and a mesh that allows any liquids or excess from your bottle to seep out. We have a nice detailing here and then again that flap underneath like so for the uh, loop. With the exterior zippers I really like it because it's actually reversed in which gives it a cleaner profile and it helps to retain that water repellent features. If you are carrying a bigger load than what the main compartment is allowing you to store you can actually use these three loops similar to the bottle compartment where you can just hang and a hook that allows you to just hang any additional carries so pretty smart and when it's not in use it's just hidden underneath and then now we move into the main compartment the zippers are very nice smooth and i haven't had any problems of it catching onto anything and you can see it extends pretty much like just a third from the bottom and that allows full view of what is inside the inside is actually really nice and well set up for a variety of gear that you want to carry. On the lid here, we actually have a zipper compartment uh, that is uh, pretty see-through and kind of has a mesh feeling to it, just with a different pattern. And we also have another key tether here, which is great. Also give you another view here. I tend to use this for like my cables, my wallet, or even my sunglasses when, when I'm out hiking and that works very well. Two compartments. This one is nice. It has that sort of same loop with the Able Carry branding and that allows you to slide in like a tablet or thin notebooks and then towards the back that will allow you to fit a 13 inch laptop and it actually has a furry interior. You might be able to see here very has a nice lining to just keep it from uh, like scratching or hitting anything so I really like that divider and this divider here also has a slightly more padded uh, structure inside it so it just helps to create that better separation from the main and then hidden underneath the top we actually have this velcro and that hides a small shallow pocket where if you want to put like earphones or anything that you kind of want out of sight and secured this is actually really nice you can actually miss that if you don't explore too deep into the bag but very nice and this just to give you a bit more of a top-down view of how the compartment is set up again it kind of has a rounded like towards the middle and the bottom which 
allows more space the further down you go and then towards the right we have like a little joey pocket and that is a stretchy enough fit for like a portable umbrella even a very small bottle as an option if you don't want to use the external pocket for this like 13 liter capacity it has really thoughtful uh, compartments and is well designed to try and maximize the space allowing you to carry plenty and um, while also keeping everything very secured towards the back this is what it looks like it has nice like curved shoulder straps so i found it's very ergonomic to wear on your shoulders for a long period of time whether you have it tighter or looser i like to wear it tighter mainly because it just holds better and provides a stable fit um, but if it's very hot outside and you want to let your back like breathe or just ease the stress on your shoulders then it also has a nice hold as well behind the straps they are very well padded and cushioned and you see we have the mesh panels here to sort of let them breathe and wick away any of the moisture and sweat and then in terms of the back panel it's the same as the front so you don't have any like mesh paneling here which means that you might build up sweat but i didn't really find it much of a problem um, out hiking as well so no mesh paneling but has a nice solid construction towards the back and then towards the right we have a side zipper here so something that is better suited for those like essential variables uh, documents that you want to just keep safer and out of reach and it's actually very big as well it occupies the whole of the back panel like so and my hand extends from right to left completely so that's the back out of the way we also have one carry handle on the top here it is stitched and made out of the same x-pack material very light easy to grip and uh, has enough cushioning in there that it's not going to like dig into your hands I always like a top handle and just gives you an alternative to carrying. We have a few like extra nice details as well. We have a stitched loop here and this can act as two things. You can either use it as an additional hook for like a carabiner, uh, but, but essentially this is a place where you can actually use like a TSA lock or something to just have that extra security if you do plan to travel with this so you can put a padlock or however you choose and then overall it's just a nice additional trims you have a nice slick able carry piece towards the left that is actually separated and kind of acts as an option where if you want to loop your pens for example something i like on the carry strap as well is that they have an additional loop so if you are increasing the tension or tightness of the strap and you have the excess material and um, they have this like loop to keep that secured and not dangling down and that's it for the front and the back now let's deep dive into the main compartment and then also the accessory as well so as i mentioned 13 liter is a very good and usable amount for your everyday you can push it a little bit and to just give you an idea i have my surface book here and uh, it's 13 inches and takes a bit of a wider like profile than your 16 by 9 aspect ratio laptops you need to really make sure it's all the way down to the bottom and then it fits like so you kind of don't want to catch it in the zippers but uh, if you aren't packing too many things towards the bottom then it definitely is much easier if not you can you just have to take more time but that does fit inside of this bag so very competent if you do want a small profile backpack but still carrying your main essentials and then if i want to also carry my tablet then uh, i can just slot that in this pocket here and both of them fit just fine while staying uh, in place my headphones and like I say, you've got extra space here. So once it like drops in, there's more space to work with. From this pocket, I can put my power bank to charge via USB-C, closed off. Finally, just move my written notepad for the day. Want the essentials, that can just slot right at the top that you see here. And there you go. Uh, alternatively, if you do want to actually use the front pocket, it's very difficult to, so you kind of need to make sure that there is some space in the, the main compartment for this bottle area to sort of work with. Got that all zipped up. And then I have my water bottle where I can just slide that in. See, it's pretty snug, but that's kind of what you want. So it's not gonna suddenly drop out. And you can see that extends all the way 
down to the bottom as far as you want it. So that is also an alternative if you are looking more for like an adventurous setup. And then another thing, if you are going out shooting for the day and you want to carry your spare lens, uh, I also like to use the front quick access pocket 35 millimeter FE 1.4 Sony Zeiss lens. Very heavy and pretty big, but you can see it fits in there very well. Again, you just want some space in the main compartment, uh, but it means that you can sort of just have the bag towards your side and open it out. And it also doesn't add too much weight and doesn't like deform the overall design as well. So there you have it, the Able Carry 13 Day Pack. Again, a bag that I find really nice to carry, especially on hotter days where you don't want to carry a big bag with you and you just have a small amount of things to carry. Uh, something that is much smaller, more compact and agile to move around with. The 13 is a really nice bag at that. So whether you are looking for that minimal setup or something that you want to travel with and just carry a few things to stay hydrated and refresh with a bag that is very durable, able to withstand some testing weather conditions with its water repellency, really solid detailing, stitching construction and a standout X-Pack material that has proven itself in a day-to-day -day scenario and the hidden away back compartments accessible from the side when you're traveling and keeping those essentials secure. Thanks a lot for watching Team KBA. Like always, you can find my full written review on my website at onetechtraveler.com. And if you've enjoyed what you've seen today and think this is the right backpack for you, I'll put the link down below. We can go ahead and purchase it on their website. If you have any more questions about the Able Carry 13 day pack or the accessories pouch, feel free to leave a comment down below. Always happy to hear your thoughts and uh, answer your questions. Make sure you join the Team KBA community by subscribing and supporting my channel by giving it a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one, but until then, keep being awesome. Peace.